this is in our get ready, blame that at sex. Because, what's today? Sunday. What is today though? What are you doing? Hopefully gonna get an MRI. Yeah, finally, a month later. <laughs> Hello, my sweet, beautiful. Can I touch your fur? Oh, you're so beautiful. You know that, uh, that kitty cat that loved the skunk? <laughs> I sometimes feel like that with this kitty. I love her. Hadar says she hates us so much but loves us at the same time. She can't decide what she wants. <laughs> so I've been doing some thinking and reverting back to the, the Bible for my help and support. Although you guys have been really, really supportive, and I really appreciate it, really. Um, you know, I, I'm pretty well over uh, what has happened for the past couple months. <laughs> I'm pretty well over it. I'm feeling really good, and it actually lit a fire under my butt. Recently, you know, I had had the idle hands problem, you know what I mean? The idle hands are the devil's workshop, and I believe... Even if you don't believe everything in the Bible, because I don't believe everything in the Bible, come on, it's written by humans. And humans are humans, you know, they have the bad traits too. They got greed and uh, control and power issues, and I, I don't believe everything that's written in there. Uh, I believe it's the entire book of, <laughs> I'm going to get this wrong, Leviticus, I think? I believe it's that entire book that I could just rip out of my Bible and throw away because it's all about um, different things that a person should do and uh, I believe the Messiah has already been here. There are some religions that don't believe the Messiah has been here and they don't know the Messiah yet. So maybe they want to continue to bring offerings to the Messiah, to God for uh, saving their sins, cleansing their soul, whatever. That whole chapter, it, it doesn't pertain to me because I don't believe in that. I'm not going to send an offering to God to forgive my sins when there was already like the ultimate offering to remove my sin, okay? So that's what, that's what I believe. So I pick and choose uh, the good parts of the Bible that I choose to believe in. And one of those are Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I truly believe that. So I've been like destroying myself a little bit at a time, you know, with the biting the fingernails down to the quick where it really hurts or my face is breaking out because I'm not getting sleep, you know, my diet is bad, whatever, not drinking enough, stress, and then I start picking my face, you know, so I look like a crackhead. That I don't want to do that. So I go back to my videos and I say, okay, let me look through the videos and see where I look the best. Just see where I look the best. And I believe it was during the time where I was watching Pretty Little Liars and I was wearing makeup all the time. But what was I doing during that time? I had a lot going on. I had stuff. I didn't have time to do stuff. You know what I mean? So I was editing probably six hours a day. And I was doing schoolwork with Raphael for four solid hours a day. Uh, solid hours. It wasn't split up. I didn't have to go do something in it. It was four solid hours in the morning. I've decided to get back into that and stay busy and keep my hands from being idle because I do believe that bad things happen when you have nothing better to do. You know, just sit there and pick yourself to death because of this I think I'm gonna move the couch and it's gonna look really crappy in here but I don't think we have a choice at the moment the window, window. is not a very good block and that's a three-story fall kitty come clean up this mess you made okay I have to sweep fix the windows it's <laughs> really open and bare here he's eating some rice hello hello how are you doing Kitty. and there's the thing 
And I think we'll just put the, you know, we got the two chests here. One that I stepped on and broke. It's beautiful. It's this toy thing. And this is our drink slash dining table. This is our desk. We use furniture appropriately here. Yeah, see, I told you, this is a dining table, toy box. So this is the love seat. And this is my desk now. And you can jump there and not die. I don't know though, because if you do jump and daddy sees you, you, yeah, you might get in big trouble, so. Yeah, so this is my view from my up. Daddy's Bye -bye. snot rag that he left for me. Daddy, Bubba. Thank you. You're so welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Look how empty. A dance and studio. Blue. You want a dance studio now? I see ya. Yeah, I see ya. There's a dance in this here. battery life terrible all done oh also I was talking to a friend last night in email about exercise and she you know she is at the weight now that was at my heaviest which isn't too dang far away from me again but uh, anyway she is at that heaviest weight that I was but she's like way taller than me <laughs> So I'm sure she looks a lot better than I did. And I know what it's like to be that weight. I know exactly what it's like to be that weight. Basically, I was at the point where I was like, let's see how big I can get. You know what I mean? Because I was done with life. Just done. I had, there was nothing, nothing left for me to do, you know? It's like, whatever. The changing moment came when I had some health problems female problems and I went to the doctor for it and they wanted to do an ultrasound <gasps> can't believe you broke it he broke it you broke it it's done okay anyway had some health problems with my female organs I had 11 really large fibroids so I had a lot of pain and um, they were causing me a lot of issues just a lot of female issues and I was very young. I was probably 25. And I shouldn't have been going through that, honestly. But go through the medical system, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's normal. No, it's not. It's not. They never told me ever, change your diet. They just gave me pills. More pills, more pills, more pills. Here, let's give you a pill. I was on so many pills that I was getting sick from the pills that was taken to help me get sick from the other pills that was taken. I mean, come on. 25 years old. So, I woke up one day when I had to get a sonogram to check my female stuff out. And I was laying flat on a table. And I told my mom this. This was like the most eye-opening moment in my whole life, really. And the woman said, Okay, lift up your stomach. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm laying down. Okay, lift up your stomach. I was like, all right, that's it. That's it. That's it. And that was it. For nine months. <laughs> I lost 94 pounds in nine months. And I kept it off for two years. Two whole years I kept it off. I was doing good. Then I went back on bread. <laughs> oh. He's singing a song, guys. And Emmy went, Emmy went. Stuck in a no. What are you singing? Uh, duck to no. Dun, dun, dun. A, B, C, D, F, G. 
Do I want to be Daffy? Okay. He doesn't know how to act around the kitty anymore, so he's scared of her and she's scared of him. She's like, what's this crazy boy doing? He's scared. He's like, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, kitty. Okay, thanks for your help. You kitty. Kitty doesn't scratch our furniture, right? And neither does Raphael. Sit in the couch. Do you hate it? I know Hadar's gonna hate it as soon as he comes home. I'm going to scoot this kitty. down more so it's not kitty. such a bottleneck. Kitty, doing? what are you doing? Are you oh boy. Kitty. Da 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 da. There we go. Finish. You did a great job buttoning that shirt up. Butt and shirt on. Very good. Oh, you gotta button it up. I didn't get on. And then. Yeah, cover that up. Yeah, good job. Daddy, you're going to turn the camera on? Yeah, I turned the camera on to show how good you are. I'm watching Dateline because I watched all of 48 hours. I mean, literally all of them, even the updated ones. I just do some housework while I watch it. I get up, I get down, I get up, I get down. Yeah. 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 What do you call it? What do you call it? Squats. Look at these fat legs. Oh my god. Are you okay? It's fat on top of fat. No, I'm, I'm not okay. Is it a hurt? No, it's a mole. Is it hurt a mole? A freckle. A freckle. Yeah, yeah. My, my fat old legs. What is this? A freckle. Freckle. Let's turn it. He's still buttoning the shirt up. I hail. Uh, actually, this might be a girl's shirt. It's got a rounded collar. Um. And. Yes. Oh, I want a little girl. I just don't want it that way. A nice girl. Here, let me see your pretty face. On oh, no, a face. You got a pretty face. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it literally sounds like an ice maker and I just turned it on a minute and a half ago. A minute and a half ago. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's still got this girl's shirt on, but it's going to be the last time he wears. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not perfect, are we? Oh, for goodness sakes. And I got to trim this right here. Got to trim it up. Got, got to trim right around here. Oh, my goodness. Got to trim all the way down here because he's real hairy. We'll see that hairy back. He's going to be like his daddy. I can't hear anything, but people are looking at me funny. I had to walk away, kinda. These are the headphones.
So I'm working on some extra videos right now and I hope you guys don't mind that it's like, it's something extra. It's not like a normal vlog that I'm gonna post some days. My computer messed up and it's really tore up right now. I mean, Hadar, I feel so bad for Hadar. We're probably gonna get a computer next month because this, it's, it's trashed. It's completely trash. Like inside and out is gone. Poor Hadar because he's trying to do this wow thing, you know, uh, where he's uh, uploading videos to uh, YouTube. He's gonna get into YouTube, you know, through gaming. Like we'll game together and, and have videos together of us gaming. Not on Twitch, PA Mom 1980 she does Twitch. Uh, by the way, if you want your Twitch account posted, let me know and I'll, I'll post it. So it'll be down below if she wants it posted. So she does Twitch and that Twitch is like a video that you stream, it's live, people go to your site and they can donate money to you, but it's really just a, a good fun way of like interacting with different people. And it's it's like, uh, I don't know, it, it's neat. It's a neat format. I've never really been on it a couple of times, but I told Hadar, you can do this because he is like the master of gaming. I'm serious, that's one reason why I was attracted to him, because he was good at gaming. <laughs> he's good at everything he does, basically. It's really annoying. Yeah, he's gonna do the the YouTube thing, and he can't even run his software with it. And he, he's just getting frustrated with it. It's just, it's a mess. And I would feel the same way, because the only thing in life that really irritates me is when somebody deliber deliberately tries to break my stuff. Zeb one time broke a coffee pot of mine that was antique. I, I used to collect coffee pots and I was livid, right? And then another thing, I cleaned out a pond, my pond outside. I, I just got done cleaning it out and I was on the computer doing eBay at the time. <laughs> And Zeb was like six years old. I shouldn't have to like keep my eyeballs literally on him at six, okay? So he busts the screen out of my window, he's in the living room, and he pours flour outside and it gets all in my pond that I just cleaned out. And I just, you know, I, that, I can't handle that. I was so, that's probably the maddest I have ever been. I, j I couldn't believe he did that and it was so malicious. Like, I don't know. And the other thing that irritates me is my computer being broke. Like, I can't handle it. And then the third thing is really bad customer service where I know I'm right but they don't help me. That, that irritates me. So, yeah. That's everything that irritates me. That's everything that, uh, that I get mad at. And I don't think that's, I don't think that's too bad. Like, my patience has grown, with Zeb especially, because he did have a lot of behavior problems. I believe that I grew my patience, the ages of one to seven with him, because I had to sit at therapy appointments with him for hours each week. And I, I don't believe that you're born patient. I believe that it's a, a skill. It's um, something that you have to work on, work on, and build up. And Hadar is uh, not there yet. He's working on it, but he, he's, not, he's not a patient person at all. And if something doesn't work, he just, he's really bad with it. <laughs> You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. I've lived my life, had my experiences, and in my experience, anywhere you go, it's only going to be good if your family is there. And that's the truth. <laughs> it's a ball.